For more exclusive content, exclusive conversations, weekly Bible study, and much, much more, or join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Go ahead, Sister Nikki. I bless you. Tune in for so that's cool, rapper. Uncle Luke, Uncle Luke is devastating after his beautiful wife for 12 blind, 12 years blindsided by him filing for divorce. MCO has learned. Luke said in a statement. A 12 year was, contract complete. 12 years. You know, it's all these, all of these, um, Big time, long time celebrities is getting divorced. You know what I'm saying? You got Dr. Dre getting a divorce. I mean, all these long time relationships, aka contracts, is getting the divorce. Twelve years. Luke, stop it. Go ahead, sister niggas. Luke said in a statement that the gorgeous Kim Thomas, excuse me, Thompson. Hit him with a surprise divorce on July 17th. Luther told MTO News and other, other news outlets it's mind blowing, hurtful, and total surprise. I never attempted to get married to get divorced, he said. That's not in my DNA or my family's history. I believe. And the skin battles for better or for worse, but I have respect for this. The couple has been married since 2008 and shared one son. Oh, they've been I married know. since 2008? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, go ahead. Under no circumstances, was there any infidelities, no verbal or physical abuse by me? He said, I am... Now trying to make peace with her decision as best as I can. It will take time. The most important focus is for me now and our son and being the best parent I can in this situation. What is that? Two thousand and eight to twenty twenty. Is that how many years is that? That's twenty years, ain't it? Two two thousand eighteen. Oh, two thousand eighteen or two thousand I thought you said two thousand eight. Two thousand eight is twelve years. Okay, so two thousand from two thousand eight to um twenty twenty, that's twelve years. Yeah, twelve years marriage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. That was a whole lot of prayer. That was a whole lot of prayer and fasting. Ain't no way I can be married to. I can't even really be next to a man for twelve days. Yeah, that's that's a contract. The same way, you know what I'm saying? Caught I be and offset three years contract. Doctor Dre and you know what I'm saying? His wife. I don't know how many years that is, but that was a contract. You know what I'm saying? These are contracts these celebrities took on. But uh, go ahead, Sister Nikki. Huh? Oh, that was all the story. So they getting a divorce. You know what I'm saying? And and just in time, you you know you know this is the reason why they getting a divorce. Like I told you, America worships the woman. You know what I'm saying? And it's about to be a woman president, whether you know it or not. Camilla Harris is going to be the first Jamaican black president of the United States. Female black president of the United States. Yes, she is. Because um, when Joe Biden get in office, he's going to croak, which is going to bring in Camilla Harris. So, you know what I'm saying? All the stars is lining up for Women to be in top tier number one positions. That's what it's all about, anyway. You know what? I like this. If it comes down to a and it's somebody that you don't want to be with, you don't want to be with, it's somebody that's going to support the issues, I stand by them. You stand by Luke? I'm talking about when you talk about the black person. Yeah, mm-hmm. You say but, you, you'll you stand... Know, one, one thing I can say is, even though they had the one, I commend Luke for something. He said he's still going to be the best parent he can ever be. Mm-hmm. And I commend him for that. 
But you said you said you will stand by a man if he's what? No, like he was told the black president. Oh, okay. I will stand by a black president with no matter who are the black white as long as they are in as long as they're doing their job. Let's keep, let's keep it real, you know what I'm saying? These presidents are not, you know what I'm saying? They, they're they puppets, you know what I'm saying? The real people behind the scenes is the Romans. The Romans, the, the uh, a.k.a. Jewish people behind the scenes that is pulling the strings. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Even if nobody voted in America, do you not know that they still will have a president? Because a president is not... Elected, a president is selected by the elites. So it doesn't matter if you stand by him or not, or stand by her or not. You know what I'm saying? They still gonna do what they going to do. But never mind the president. What do you think about this marriage, sister? Sister, um, Nikki. I, like I said, I have to agree with what the man's decision. No matter what, you still. Being there for your child. And, when, I, and I support it. But you shouldn't have to support a man for taking care I of his child. I support his decision. Uh, that shouldn't even be a decision to, for a man to take care of his child. That you shouldn't even. That, huh? You have some men that don't take care of their child. Yeah, that's because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of women choose the wrong niggas to motherfucker them and have babies with. But that's, that's, that's not a, um, that's not a choice. I mean, that's not, you know what I'm saying, a decision. That's yours. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 a man should not get a medal for taking care of his children. A man should not get no reward, should not get no type of, you know what I'm saying, uh, appreciations or anything like that. It's that man's responsibility to take care of his own. He laid down and squirted in the woman. So if he laid down and squirted in the woman... He should be man enough to take care of what comes out of that squirt. You know what I'm saying? That's part, that's what being a man is. Sister, Sister Nick is. I don't understand. That's the prime example of a man. Not a boy. I still command him for taking care of his child. Same when he said he could have said, I want to take care of his child, but I still commend him for that. What? He could have said he don't want to take care of his child. You got some people that don't. When they get into a relationship, they don't want to take care of his child. So I, I commend them for saying that he wants to man up and take care of his child. Because I don't know why you think that they want to take care of his child. It should be nothing to command. It should be nothing to command. That that comes along with the territory of having a child. You know what I'm saying? What if I said something like, "Oh, I'm gonna take care of my children." Are you gonna come to, uh, uh, command me, or are you gonna say, "Oh, I'm supposed to take care of my children"? What you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to. Exactly. So what you what you you what you talking about? You command. You 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 commend. Him. You shouldn't commend him. That's his responsibility. Some people don't. Well, that's that's you, some that's some you people some that people that say they don't you have some people that say they don't give a damn about their child. Well, that is the decision that the woman made when she laid down and had children with that no good nigga. That 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 goes back to what I was saying about the black woman choosing the wrong nigga. You know what I'm saying? The wrong choices. You know what I'm saying? That falls back on the black woman for choosing the wrong, making the wrong choices, well, all because he looked good, or he talked smooth, or he got good sideburns, or he, you know what I'm saying? He got money. Oh, he's a gangbanger. He's a drug dealer. 
You don't say, never mind that. That's why I tell a lot of women, before you lay, before you meet a man and before you lay down with a man, give that man six months to a year. Don't give that man no ass for six months to a year. Within six months to a year, that man is going to do something that is going to open your eyes to see that he really wasn't the right one for you. Because as soon as you give the man the ass, that gives the man, you know what I'm saying, free range to do what he wants. Now he can do, he's talk to you the way he want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying, because he done got the prize. Sometimes you got to let a nigga wait for the prize. And then if you let a nigga wait for the prize, then you will see if that man is good for you. Because of, you know how they say, good things come to those who wait. Good things really come to those who wait. Because if he love you, he will wait patiently and not cheat on you. You see how that work, Sister Nickis? Uh-huh. What do you think about that? I agree. So are you going to let a nigga wait? Or are you going to, you know what I'm saying, give it up to the nigga on the first day? I didn't give him nothing on the first day. Second day? Mm-mm. Third day? I ain't no hold no trick. First week. How about how about the first week? Too much. You shouldn't even let him. You shouldn't even do it two months because two months. You don't say a nigga can wait, motherfucker. Them two months. You don't really. You don't even really know the nigga in two months. You don't come on. Keep it real. You don't know a nigga in two months of meeting that nigga. You don't know that nigga in no damn two months. See, that's, that's the problem with us people, as a people. The niggas is quick to lay down with any old chick and wonder why later on they, she, they niggas be like, oh, that woman crazy. No, she wasn't crazy when you laid down with her, now was she? And the same thing with you women. You women are so damn itchy for some dick. That you can't wait to, for somebody to lay you down. Get to know that person. You know, back in the day, back in my day one, uh, when I was in high school and shit, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I, when we went to go meet a chick, you know what I'm saying? Or ask a chick for their number. You know, the first thing the chick will say, I don't know you. And we just asking the chick for their number. So I tell a chick, how the hell you expect to know me if you can't even give me your damn number to get to know you? But if I was that thug nigga and came up to her with some street slang and, yo, what's up, ma? Yo, come hit the block. I wouldn't have to ask you for your number. You would voluntarily give it to me. That's the problem with these black women today. Let a nigga wait. Six months to a year. Let a nigga wait. If you want a relationship, if you want a, a, a man to, you know what I'm saying, to be a control of your household and, you know what I'm saying, to raise your family, if you want a man like that, look, close your legs and let a nigga wait. No matter how much he motherfucking them beg and plead. Okay, if I can't get no pussy, then let me get some head. Don't get that nigga shit. You give a nigga head, which is, you know what I'm saying, you give a nigga head, that's just motherfucking them a door you opened up to have him, you know what I'm saying, try to coerce you into other things. Anyway, let me stop preaching. Sister Nickis? I don't have nothing else to say. Nothing else? Okay. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Sister Nickis. Hit that subscribe button, like button, share button, comment board, 
Don't forget, if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversation, weekly Bible study, and much, much more, or join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.